اللهم أعني على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك O oh Allah, I ask you to help me to commemorate you, be thankful towards you, and to make me excel in worshipping you. The reason why I have chosen this beautiful hadith is because it takes me back to how the Prophet Muhammad would treat his companions. He would be the leader of mankind, but nevertheless, he was the most humble person that an eye has ever seen. The Prophet said this when he saw Mu'adh ibn Jabal. And he said, oh Mu'adh, I love you. Just the expression of love from the Prophet ﷺ is already sufficient to choose this hadith as a hadith of today. So now he said, oh Mu'adh, I love you. So if you know that I love you, then never, ever, ever stop doing the following. Say every time after your prayer, oh Allah, I ask you to help me to commemorate you, to be grateful towards you and to worship you as excellent as I can. These are three things that we should remind ourselves of because every supplication is a way of life. And when we are going to dissect this hadith, we see that it is about commemoration, which is all on the inside. It is about gratitude, which is a way of life. And it's about excelling in everything you do. And that's a goal. So the Prophet ﷺ was given these all-encompassing words. And this is what these supplications are. So let us have a quick look. He said, Oh Mu'adh, I love you. And this, to start with, is something we should all do. The Prophet ﷺ was speaking to one of his companions and said, Do you love this person? He said, Naam Ya Rasulallah, I love him. And then he said, then go and tell him that you love him. Because when you love someone, you have to tell that someone that you love him. This mutual love is our way to paradise. The Messenger وسلم, said, by Allah, I do swear, you will not enter paradise until you believe. And you will never believe unless you love one another. Should I tell you something that if you were to do it, that this would help you to love one another? spread peace amongst you. So this love is the stronghold of Islam. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ told Mu'adh to remind himself in reality, to reaffirm this every time he had prayed, that love is the essence of life. And love is the essence of being a Muslim. Then the commemoration is actually something that should be spontaneous. A Muslim doesn't tell himself, well, should I do dhikr of Allah? When you love something, you talk about it. When you love someone, you want to be with that someone in word, heart, mind, and deed. And then the last part is to excel in everything you do. Very often, the things we are not good at doing are doing things for the sake of Allah. Everything today, which is fi sabilillah, for the sake of Allah, is usually half work done. You cannot tell somebody who says, I will work fi sabillah, that he's late. You can't tell him that the work has not been done good enough because his first reply will be, well, it's fi sabillah, you should be happy. When you say fi sabillah, you are saying, I'm self-employed. Who is your employer? Allah. So this is why every time we pray, we say, oh Allah, help me because without you, I'm weak. Without you, I'm lost. I have to be found by none but you and helped by none but you because you are my strength. You are the one that is able to make my dreams come true and make me live up to what you love, commemorating you, thanking you, and excelling in everything I do. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.